Hi everybody, I'm Song Valley Media Assistant Sports Editor Christopher Heiberman. My wife Kayla with me once again as we record another installment of the vlog portion of our blog, The Soul Goal. Uh, currently training for uh, the Wisconsin Marathon in Kenosha, Wisconsin in early May. And uh, we had a 12 mile run today. You guys have kind of caught me on the job here. Uh, we're actually here at the office in Sterling. And uh, Kayla dropped by and brought some wonderful, some wonderful soup. Uh, no, no, no better way to refuel after a nice long run than with some of Kayla's cooking and some bread that she baked yesterday. And um, we, we had a very long run, our longest so far, 12 miles today as I just touched on. And so one thing I wanted to bring up tonight is the fact that, you know, that there's a lot of reasons why we're running a marathon. We're running a marathon to get fit. Uh, we're doing it to cross it off the old bucket list. Uh, but there are perks that come with the territory of burning as many as four or five thousand calories every week. And one of them is the fact that while we're trying to eat right, every once in a while it's nice to have a little treat. Am I right? Yes, definitely. One of the things we, um, we've we done is sort of uh, made our long run days, which are Sundays, our treat days. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean we go whole hog and have <laughs> a burger and pizza and soda and a million other things that we would normally eat because frankly nobody would react well to that. Right. Um, but we make sure that we <laughs> yeah, it, it, Kayla's absolutely right, and after we finish this wonderful food here, she's going to run out and get us a little uh, a little ice cream treat, so it, it, I think you absolutely have to keep yourself motivated. Uh, an old friend of mine from high school and college, as a matter of fact, as well, uh, told me, he, he lives with a guy who does a lot of marathons, and he said, you know, once he gets into those 3,500, uh, or excuse me, the, the, the 25 to 35 mile weeks uh, cumulatively, uh, he, he says he'll consume 2,500 to 3,500 calories a day and that he'll actually indulge in some fast food in order to get the salt into his system that he's going to sweat out anyway, but we won't go to that extreme, but you know, I've, I've caught my sweet tooth from, from my wife Kayla here and so uh, we, we do like to indulge. So treat yourself, motivate yourself in any way that you can. Like, like Kayla has said, you know, don't go hog wild and, and overdo it because your body's going to hate you for it. But you know, every once in a while, uh, give yourself a little bit of motivation, especially along the, uh, after long runs like our 12 miler today. Yeah, there's definitely some other you know ways you can reward yourself and motivate yourself too. As you reach goals, for example, you could say get a new pair of shoes, whether it's running shoes or personal, you know, other casual shoes. That's awesome, by the way. Oh, good. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> um, you know, some people might buy new workout clothes. Some people might schedule a pedicure. That's actually something I did a few weeks ago when we had reached one month of being on the training plan. I went and got my toes painted because I figured I'm beating my feet up every week. I might as well have somebody treat them nice for a while. I shot that one out. <laughs> um, so there's other ways you can motivate and reward yourself, and I think that's really important because um, they kind of act as markers along Of you who have been absolutely hanging on my every blog post and read about the, the tweaking of the knee the other day. Uh, it held up really well today. Uh, I, I'm not going to tell you I'm 100%, but it held up just fine. Um, and uh, very, very relieved as to that fact. And, uh, so uh, be, be sure to check out all the blog posts. You can watch the older videos and take part in the conversation. I, I say you get after Kayla, get in the comment field and let her know that you want this recipe because this, this soup is some kind of wonderful. She can also teach you how to make this incredible bread that I spent about half of our 12 mile run today uh, just, just thinking about having a nice uh, sandwich on this bread. So I'm sure if you bug her enough, she'll be more than happy to share it with you. So, all right, well, that's going to wrap it up for this week. i gotta, I got to eat and get back on the job uh, so we can get up uh, today's newspaper by now, seeing as how this video will be going up today on Monday. So, great to see everybody once again. Uh, keep, keep the faith. Keep getting after it. It's the Soul Goal. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.